Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick review on the Synergy Easy Curl Bar. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, I do home gym equipment reviews. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, let's get into it. This bar does feature four different coating options. So you can get a chrome sleeve with a chrome shaft. You can get black phosphate sleeve with a black phosphate shaft. You can get the one that I chose, which is gonna be a black phosphate shaft with chrome sleeves. Otherwise, you can get a red Cerakote shaft with black phosphate for the sleeves. Pricing is gonna depend on what color you decide to choose. If you go with the chrome and chrome, that is gonna be the cheapest at $79.95. If you go with the option that I chose, which is gonna be the black phosphate and chrome sleeves, then it's going to be $114.95. And if you decide to go with the black phosphate, black phosphate, or the red Cerakote and black phosphate, that is going to retail for $119.95. When you guys finally get your bar, it's going to be in a cardboard tube and it's gonna have plastic end caps. I took out the screws that were holding the plastic end cap in, figured that was gonna be easy enough to open the bar. I ended up picking it up, standing it up, smacked it a couple times, no. So I ended up having to go get a screwdriver and I pried open one side of the plastic end cap and then I grabbed it with some needle nose pliers and I yanked it out. That was enough to be able to get the bar out. The bar itself is wrapped in a plastic bag and there is a small coating of oil on it. All you need really do after that is wipe down the coating and it's ready to use. The important dimensions to mention is this bar is 47.25 inches for the length. You're gonna be looking at 33 inches from sleeve to sleeve. It does have a 28 millimeter diameter for the shaft itself. And then the sleeves are going to be two inches in diameter. That's gonna mean that any of your two inch diameter Olympic size plates will fit this bar. The bar itself is only gonna weigh 19 pounds, but it does feature a 450 pound max load capacity. So you shouldn't have to worry about maxing out to this bar when it comes to the weight that it can handle. Now when it comes to curl bars, you're either gonna have a bushing or usually a bearing or some kind of hybrid design. Now this one is gonna feature a powder coated bushing, which in my opinion is gonna give it just enough spin to alleviate some of that wrist discomfort that you would normally feel when doing curls if it was a solid curl bar. Right off the bat, one of the biggest cons that I see is gonna be the loadable sleeve length. You're looking at 6.25 inches for the length for that. When it comes down to it, if you don't have 45s, 35s, 25s, and if you're just trying to load this bar up using just 10s and 5s, then you're gonna run into problems just due to the fact that the sleeve is on the short side. One of the other cons that I wanna point out is this bar is not rackable. So again, it's 47.25 inches for the length, but it's only 33 inches for sleeve to sleeve dimensions. So it's not going to fit in any of your standard racks. Overall guys, I feel this bar feels really good in your hands. I mean, in my opinion, it does feature some aggressive knurling, and I say it's aggressive because when I first loaded this up and I went to pick it up to do a curl, I wasn't really paying attention and this bar nicked my shin. And let me tell you, I had some blood. The curves on the bar feel good for your hands. It's gonna give you that semi-supinated position when you're doing your curls. And of course, when it comes to curl bars, there is a lot more versatility than people realize. Not only can you do barbell curls and tricep extensions, but you can also do things like rows. You can technically pick this bar up if you don't have shoulder issues and put it on your back, and you will be able to do something like back squats, lunges, and if you guys have shoulder issues, you should be able to do front squats using this bar as well. So guys, hope you all enjoyed that review. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. If I missed anything whatsoever, you guys can leave me a comment. And if you guys don't wanna miss any future videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.